Hey Lacers, John Lacers here today back for the 2019 Hot Wheels, let me see here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H case, decide your ride, I'm sort of getting all the cases mixed up in my head now, but this will be the H case race, we have a lot of cars to unbox here, so if you guys don't know how it works, you watch a car, if you think it's going to win, comment down below that car, and if it wins, you'll get a shout out at the end of the video, and we have a lot of cars, this is going to be one of our biggest races. Uh, a lot of cars to choose from, so I would choose wisely. Uh, maybe the fantasy cars will win, maybe the reality castings will win, you never know. Wonder if they will beat our King of the Hill, the Tricera truck, but that is besides the point. Let's get to unboxing these cars. First up, we have Z Rod. Not much I have to say about the fantasy cars, other than if they have a metal base, they're probably fast. Alright, next up, we have Salt Shaker. Uh, I think I said when I unboxed this thing out of the case that this thing had a, it had a name before Salt Shaker because it's come out before as a Hot Wheel, but those wheels are very strange. I don't know how I feel about that. That's that's uh, that's weird. We have Skyboat. I'm really curious to see this thing because it has a moving part. As you can see, it already flipped back there when I opened it, so that's pretty neat. It's a boat, and then it's also a helicopter, I guess. Pretty neat. It's got a metal base, but it's got some small wheels. I don't know if that'll be fast or not. I guess there's only a little, only one way to find out. Next up, we got a 70 Chevelle SS wagon with a gunmetal gray with green stripes, looking good. Now we've got a car. I think everybody's gonna choose. We have the star of the case. We have the McLaren Senna. This thing is an absolute beauty. I love the Senna. I've loved it ever since it was announced, and now that it's a Hot Wheel, it just looks it just looks amazing. That's awesome. Next up, we've got Evil Weevil. This thing is extremely heavy. Heavy cars have not particularly done very good on the six lane, but hey, maybe this thing stands a better shot because it, it's very heavy. Awesome. Next up, we've got a recolor of a competitor we've seen before. We've got Wheelie Chair in silver. Let's go ahead and open them up there. Nice little car. I don't remember if the first one was fast or not. It was so long ago. Maybe this one will be quick. We'll have to see. Next up, we've got another recolor of a car in the earlier cases. We've got the 2018 Coco Camaro SS in blue. I love the color of this blue. It looks very good. If you guys remember, the Coco Camaro last time had a little defect with the front wheels that it didn't roll but this one looks like it's it's rolling pretty quick so that'll be that'll be some good stuff there next up we've got a 68 mercury cougar in a matte green color with with flames looking looking nice next up we've got the hollinator in purple this is a weed color i think the hollinator actually did okay last tournament if i remember correctly uh, so the weed color, it's always a safe bet. We have a weed color of a previous king in this tournament, so I bet a whole bunch of people are going to choose that card. But there we go. We've got the purple Hollinator. Looking good. Next up, we've got a Nissan Fair Lady Z in blue. With a little bit of a wide body aspect to it there. I always love the Fair Ladies. They look pretty darn good. Lots of recolors in this case. We've got a Volkswagen Golf Mark II in blue. Let's open that up. I am not cracking open cars very well now, aren't I? But there you have it in blue, looking nice. Next up, we have Carbonator. This thing, take my word for it, is very quick. Because it is a very heavy metal base, so that'll always do the car good. And it's just a, it's just a aerodynamic looking car overall. And it opens bottles, so it's even got that going for it. I interrupt this video to let you guys know about my second channel slash gaming channel, if you want to call it that. On this channel, I upload a whole bunch of stuff. I upload Forza videos, which I know a lot of you guys like. I've even dipped my feet into some VR gaming, and then I've even done a movie review. So if you guys want to help me and support this channel, all you got to do is click that subscribe button and make sure you have the notifications on. It, I would really appreciate it, and I'll be doing some fun stuff with this channel in the future, so go ahead. Click the link down below, subscribe to this channel, and I'll keep you guys updated on maybe some giveaways and fun stuff that we have in the future. So, thank you guys for subscribing. Now, back to your scheduled video. 
Next up we have the Robo Race collaboration, Robo Race Robo Car. That's a lot of Robo, and I don't know a lot about Robo Race. I know that there's no driver and it's a robot, hence the name Robo Car, and it's jumping out of the package. It's like it has a mind of its own. But there we go, that's a brand new model. I wonder if it'll be quick or not. It looks very quick. And I feel like if you just got a whole bunch of these, customized them with different colors, you could have a, that's a YouTube channel idea right there. The Robo Race Robo Championship, or I don't know. But next up we have the Gazella GT. Not my favorite Gazella, the Gazella R is one of my favorite fantasy cars. And that does not look good at all, in my opinion. I know I always say that car looks neat, but not this one. Looks like we got like a brownish plastic with some green and yellow. I, I don't know. It looks like someone just threw up on it, in my personal opinion. Next up, we've got Rig Heat. This, there are a lot of cars here, guys. We're only halfway through. But this thing has a metal base, and it's very front heavy. So that might help on the six lane. I'm not sure, but I guess there's only one way to find out. And now we've got some more JDM. We've got the Mazda RX-7 in silver. RX-7s always look great with the Coney paint job on this one. It looks fantastic. Next up we have Five Alarm, a fire truck with only two wheels, which kind of bugs me. But hey, maybe it's built for speed and maybe it'll just absolutely destroy the king of the hill or whoever wins this tournament because fire trucks always seem to do good as Hot Wheels. So there you have it. That is one long boy right there. And uh, looks like the uh, ladder doesn't go up. That's uh, Oh wait, yeah it does! There we go, fire truck's complete. Never mind, this model gets a 10 out of 10 in my book. And now we have the car everyone's probably gonna choose. We have the 87 Dodge D100 in gunmetal gray. This thing was king of the hill all the way up until last race when the, uh, the dinosaur car took its place. So hopefully the Dodge can redeem itself. This thing's gonna be quick. A lot of people are gonna choose this car. So if you wanna choose it, all you gotta do is comment down below. Next up. Let's move that cam over there. We got a 2018 Honda Civic Type R. This thing looks super good in red. Honestly, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't choose red as the first color to put that car in. But, I mean, red Hondas sort of make sense. And it looks good nonetheless. So, it, yeah, it, it's just another Honda Civic in my opinion. Next up, we have a 2018 Camaro SS in lime green. I don't remember how this Camaro did the first time it came in blue. But there you have it in green. Hopefully it stands another chance. Next up, we have the Croc Rod. This thing's long and it has a metal base and those wheels in the back are massive. There we have it. It's pretty heavy. Looks like it could go pretty quick down the track. We're going to have a lot of cars racing here. So the chances of choosing a winning car are now getting slimmer and slimmer by the car we crack. Next up we have another dinosaur car, we got Motosaurus. I don't remember if Motosaurus has competed before, but if it did, it was obviously wasn't that memorable, so I don't know if it's that quick. But dinosaur cars seem to be going pretty fast, so hey, maybe you can take a shot and go with that car for your choice. Next up, we've got Head Starter. This thing is an absolute beast. It's really heavy with that metal die cast engine piece right there and the little die in it. I love the colors, blue and yellow it looks like. It looks fantastic. Now we've got four cars remaining guys. We've got Electrac in gold. I love golden Hot Wheels, especially when they're cool looking and Electrac looks just, it just, it just looks amazing, all right? You can't deny that. The gold and the red, very good color scheme on this car and I like it a lot. So. Next up, we've got the custom Volkswagen Beetle in gray. This is a recolor, I believe, of the one in red. Or it might have come out in red, and this is just the only color of it in the 2019 line. But we've got a whole bunch of rust on it. It looks quick. It looks fast. It looks like it's ready to race. All right, next up, we've got a Chevy Nova Golf in white. This is a recolor of the Golf, and I love the white Golf. Colors. Whenever a car comes out in a golf scheme, there's usually always a white one to come out right after it, and this one looks super good. I love gold paint schemes, they look very nice. And now we have the final car. You guys can choose from. We got the 1978 Little Dodge Little Red Express Truck. It's not red, nor is it little. 
but it's still here as a Hot Wheel. It looks super good out of the package. Will it be fast? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Sorry guys, that was a super long Decide Your Ride video, but hopefully you guys saw a car that will might win the race. It'll either be the Senna or the Dodge. People hope what you're choosing in the comments, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and you guys are excited for the tournament on Wednesday. So keep your eyes out for that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.